Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski, Makeup Free, coming at you from the circle. I have a very simple card project to share with you today that I shared on the Simon Says Stamp channel, but I wanted to share it here with you. So to see that card stick around, it's coming up next. Here's a look at the stamp set I'm going to use today, and this is the Balloon Greeting Set. I do have the coordinating dies. It's a small set of coordinating dies, but actually I think I'm mostly going to stamp today. And I wanna show you a simple way just to take some colors you like, and I've got this whole collection here from Simon Says Stamp, basically in rainbow order, but going on the cooler side. And I've got a panel of cardstock, and I'm just gonna start making a panel. I've got my stamp and stencil mat in here, and I'm going to undo or release the acetate from the piece. And actually, sometimes too, when I'm using this mat, because I don't want it to shift position, I'm going to put a little tape right in here, and that's just gonna hold it from shifting up and down in the space. I'm gonna take my piece of cardstock. This is Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound. And the reason I wanted it on this mat was so that I could actually have ink go off the edge and not have to worry about my stamp shifting. So let's get some balloons and get started. I'm going to start with my largest balloon and I'm going to put it right here. Maybe go off the edge just a little bit like that, all right? Pick this up, oh, pulled, my, pulled my whole thing up with it, so we'll press that down again. And I'm going to start with my first color, which is sea foam. Just ink up this stamp really well, bring it down, and transfer the color. And I'll be using a stamp press throughout because this is really nice for my wrists. And if you have issues with your wrists, you can also just use your sleeve if you have long sleeves, which I have done in the past too. All right, okay. And opening that up. All right, I'm going to wipe this down. And I'm not sure yet if I'm using another big one, but I'm gonna grab the small one. And we are going to start creating a pattern. I think I'll split that right there. Pick it up and close this. And I'm going to grab my next color. You know, I was going to use Surf, but I might skip. Well, no, let's do it. I'm going to do Surf. So this is a darker shade, right, in the trio. But let's bring this down and again, transfer. So there'd be a little overlap and then I'm going to go ahead and hit that one more time too. Like that. All right. I'm going to wipe this down. Make sure that ink is off and make sure it's dry. And then I'm going to move on to my next color and move my stamp just a little bit up here. I'm going to put the cadet right there. And I'm also sort of just splitting where the balloon is, uh, the little base every time. I don't know yet if I'm going to add in the uh, strings or not. They might just be stringless balloons. Okay, so we're going in with our cadet. And we'll transfer. This might not need double stamping because that looked like it got a really good amount of ink on here. All right. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, I got some ink on my paper. I'm not too worried about that. Let's take the violet. Another really pretty color. Bring that in and transfer. This one I may stamp again. Like that. Bring it down. Press. All right. So you can see the pattern is starting to build, right? We're getting it going. And now I think what I might do is come down. And so I think I'm gonna grab another ink pad. Hold on and let me do that. I'm gonna work my way down now here. 
and I'm gonna have a little overlap right here. Maybe we'll come in just a little like that. And for this one, I'm going to use Tropic. So I'm working my way back in the rainbow, moving towards greens. This is a blue green. Bring that down and transfer. Oh, that looks good too. And we're gonna move it one more time. And this time I'm gonna to try to cover up some of that little bit there. But maybe, maybe it does go right about here. Okay. So big balloons, small balloons. We're just making a lovely pattern on the panel. And this is Sprout. You can do something like this with any type of shape too, like if you have different size circles. It's just a way to have some fun with stamping. And see, we're mostly, we're mostly not even gonna notice that, that little bit of schmutz there, okay? There we go. I could even do it one more time, just to deepen it up and stamp. Right, bring that up that. I want it to have a few more overlaps, but for this, I might actually get one lighter shade. So let me grab a different color green. I'm going to use celery. It's also a fun way just to use a lot of colors on a card, even though we are most definitely working on the cooler side of the rainbow. Yeah, I like that one there. Just a little up there like that to have a little more. And that's my panel. I think that's all we're gonna do. And now I'm just going to let this dry for a little bit and I can lift this right out, bend this car or panel right here to get the paper off. And it will come off very nicely. And then I can just quickly wipe this down to get some of that extra ink off. And then I'll put my acetate back on just like that. All right, moving on. Next, I'm going to take the many happy wishes on this special day and just sort of position it right next to the balloons like this. I'm gonna pick this up. Not even too worried if it's perfectly straight because I am going to trim this down a little, but I'm going to take my Simon Says Stamp Anti-Static Powder and I'm gonna powder this up really well. And I'm actually going over on here too, just in case this ink is a little wet and tacky at all, but I can brush that all away. I will use my Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink, like this. Okay, bring this down and transfer. I'm only going to do it once. I'm going to use Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Silver. This is a gorgeous silver powder. I'm going to sprinkle it on and whatever sticks to the balloons here, I'm going to brush it away. Okay. Oh, not much. Okay. Let me funnel this back in. And then I'm going to use an angled shader brush just to brush away the powder that stuck to the balloons because they weren't quite dry. It's very easy. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take this off because it's easier to do when it's flat. You just brush and blow. Now it wouldn't look bad to have those little bits of powder on the, the stamped balloons, but I'm going for a cleaner look. And so that's why I'm brushing it away. Now I'll grab my heat tool and we'll melt the powder. And now I have this beautiful, shiny greeting on the panel. I'm gonna trim this down and we'll pop it onto a note card. I'm just going to use this die to 
tape that and hold it in place. And then I'll go ahead and run that through my die cut machine off camera. I'm going to use some Audrey Blue cardstock to create my note card. And I'm gonna go ahead and just hit that score line right at five and a half inches. So this will be a top folding USA2 card. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I will take my Teflon bone folder, just to give that a nice press. And the Teflon just doesn't leave any marks on your cardstock. I've got some of the Simon Says Stamp Big Mama foam tape on the back. And I'm using my little place and pierce tool. This works nice for just getting those edges back so you don't have to use your fingernails because I like to say jewels, not tools. But now I'll take just a little bit of liquid glue, just do a little strip along each foam strip. This just gives you a little bit of wiggle room when you're placing your panel so that you can get it nice and straight. And I'm gonna go ahead and stand up. But now I will have this very nice margin all around, all around the bend. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cool? Just to have that little shiny greeting down here and the cascade of stringless balloons, right? We don't have to worry about the strings. To finish this card off, I thought it would be nice to have some silver sequins. These are the Sparkle All the Way. And I am going to use this little end of the uh, pickup tool with the pierce on this side, place and pierce. Oh, <laughs> pick that up. Because it's got a little sticky piece on the end here and it will pick up your sequins beautifully. Boop. And the thing I like about the type of sequin I prefer, which is boop, the confetti style, there's no holes, right? So. No glue comes through and your tool stays boop, nice and pristine. I've got a little odd number here going down and the last one, boop, just like that. And that's my finished card project. This is such a simple way to layer one or two stamps, work in one side of the rainbow. Here we're on the cool side and then just finish it by having a little shiny greeting and some shiny sequins to bump up the festivity level. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. We'd love to have you become a subscriber to the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, so hit that subscribe button and we'll see you back here with more inspiration soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I will have all of the supplies linked in the YouTube description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you got value out of this video, hit the like button too. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. To see a few more clean and simple card designs, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below, and I'll see you in those videos.